1964, with the arrival of BBC Two, television gained a new outlet for situation comedy, and in December that year came the first sitcom to be set in the north of England. Written by Dick Clement and Ian Lafrenet, the likely lads centred on the lives of two young men in Tyneside, set against the background of the huge social and economic revolution of the 60s and 70s. I was talking to someone the other day who said when his dad first saw the likely lads, he, he was thrilled just to see his part, part of the world on the screen. I thought you might uh, fancy this at half time. The original Likely Lads ran for three series and dealt with the friendship of Bob and Terry as they navigated the changing times of the 60s. Oh, you, These two Geordie characters returned to our screens in 1973 in Whatever Happened to the Likely Lads, delivering not just laughs but also powerful social commentary. Of course, they've moved on, or Bob certainly has, and, and, and Terry is the one wishing it were not that way. The fact that he'd been out of the UK for five years automatically meant you were going to touch on the social landscape, social issues, because Terry was new to it all. He probably missed it. The death of censorship and new morality. Old Carl Cutter, topless waitresses and see-through niggers. <laughs> they never caught on. <laughs> uh, topless waitresses. Well, that's a crumb of comfort. At least I might well be in here to see them not catching on. <laughs> the miss of society, I missed it all. It provided a commentary on, on these people who were, who were trying to improve themselves and, and, and drink wine with their meals. Now, I've got white, red or fizzy rosé. Well, tell us the first white. That's a very interesting uh, vignette of what perhaps was going on at the time socially with, with groups of people thinking, I just don't want to be like that anymore. I want to improve myself, I want to get on. And yet there was Terry reminding us, are you sure? Is that what you want? Oh, and these lovely table mats, these are new. Well, hunting seats. Oh, just haven't had them out before. They're a present from Auntie Elsie. Oh, your Auntie Elsie, how is she, Brenda? Is she for the cleaner down the brewery? 